hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to Cindy's cooking today I'm gonna to show you how to make this amazing appetizer it's a Haitian appetizer usually served in communions and weddings this is the type of appetizer this is the places you find them in Haitian events we don't usually find these you know in the house we don't cook these like that okay so these are very yummy very delicious easy to make so I'm gonna show you how to make this so let's go ahead and get to the recipe and just so you know you can the filling can be anything you can fill it up with ground meat tuna whatever you like but I'm using chicken so I am using a little bit so just for the recipe all right because I made this in my event my dinner event that went amazing so people wanted to know how to make it so let me show you all right so I'm gonna season my chicken right now I'm using chicken thighs so go ahead and use whatever meat you like you don't have to use chicken use ground beef use tuna whatever you like or use even veggies if you want it's all up to you it's your business so I am seasoning my meat with some Montreal chicken seasoning a teaspoon of that one teaspoon of my favorite all-purpose chicken seasoning and one teaspoon of this um, Creole seasoning and of course some apis some ground pepper and some olive oil so go ahead and season that marinate it and some lemon juice if you don't have lemon juice use lime you can use that same type of seasoning for ground beef also and I'm also using this marinade that I love using it just gives it such great flavors so go ahead and let it marinate for a little bit mine didn't marinate for too long I let mine marinate for like 30 minutes and then I went ahead and cooked it with two cups of water and yeah let it cook all the way and I cooked it with some bay leaves some parsley and some fresh thyme so go ahead and do so if you're also using chicken and cook it with two cups of water so while my my while my chicken was cooking I go ahead and started with the dill so in your bowl mixing bowl measure three cups of all-purpose flour three cups of all-purpose flour we're gonna need eggs for this recipe so you're gonna need three eggs I'm using brown brown eggs all right I'm using heavy cream and all that good stuff so you need one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder okay baking powder <laughs> and guess what guys my baking powder is expired but you can use your baking expired baking powder up to a year as long as it's not clumpy go ahead and use it just be make sure guys it's not expired but go ahead and mix that all together so I'm gonna go ahead and use eight tablespoons of Irish butter I am using Irish butter because you guys know by now Irish butter is my favorite but use whatever butter that you have all right make sure your butter is cold okay eight table eight tablespoons or one steak or half a cup same measurement so go ahead and break that butter so I don't have that that you know that tool you break the butter with the flour so I'm using my hand you know you do that if you have the tool go ahead use the tool but I don't have the tool so I'm using my hand so after you've done that we're gonna go ahead and add two eggs into that flour that mixture just two eggs you don't have to beat it just go ahead and break it into the flour and go ahead and mix it Give it a nice mix together. So in my cup over there, I have three tablespoons of water and three tablespoons of heavy cream mixed together. So after you've done with mixing the eggs and the flour together, we're going to go ahead and measure three tablespoons of vegetable oil and add it to that mixture, to that flour mixture. And go ahead and work it. Mix it again and keep mixing it until you feel like everything is perfectly mixed with that oil. And then we're going to go ahead and add the water and heavy cream. You can use just water if you want, but I am not. I'm using, I mix it because that's my recipe. So go ahead and add four tablespoons of that water and heavy cream mixture. So now you're going to keep mixing this until it forms a dough. Okay, keep mixing. The dough, it may feel a little bit weird, but trust me, trust the process. It's gonna, it's gonna come along fine. Just keep working the dough, keep working it. It's a lot of work, you guys. It's a workout, okay? So make sure you didn't work your bicep that day because that's a workout, trust me. So 
so keep working that dough keep working it so I added about a teaspoon of that water mixture again just a teaspoon not too much and keep working it so you're gonna transfer that dough to a flat surface and you're gonna work that dough for 10 minutes seven to ten minutes you need to work it you need to work that you need to work it all right work it just like that all right and after you've done working it for that time go ahead and wrap it up in a serving wrap and let it sit in the fridge for an hour all right so go ahead and do that so while it's sitting in the fridge for an hour we're gonna go ahead and finish up with the chicken So my dough's in the fridge. So listen guys, my chicken kind of got a little burned, but hey, it's okay. Like I said, the chicken is not the important part of the recipe, so do whatever you like. So after my chicken was cooked, I added some bell peppers, green and red, and some onions. And I also added a sweet chili thigh, just because I want the flavor, I want good flavors in my fillings, okay? But it's up to you, whatever you want the fillings to be, so go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bones from my chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that chicken into a paste. Okay, that's very important. If you're using chicken, you have to pulse it a little bit, blend it. Well, not really blend, but like give it a few pulses. Because you want a paste, like you want it to be like a little pasty. A paste. Anyways, I don't know why I said pasty, but whatever. So you want that. See, this is what you want. for your. This is how you want the texture to be for your feeling all right guys if you are using chicken of course so make sure you if you're adding of course whatever filling you're using but if you're let's say you're using ground meat beef so make sure you add the um, peppers and the onions very the last minute just let them cook with the steam from the pot okay so you could still have all the flavors so anyways now we're gonna go ahead and prepare just beat one eggs because we're gonna we have to we're gonna do an egg wash on the cornet before we bake them so here's my dough that's after the hour so we're gonna go ahead and split it into half all right so put the other side to the side cover it so it's not dry so go ahead and roll it so I'm gonna use the other side because my table is moving so go ahead and roll that dough all right just roll it make it flat you want it to be thin real thin so after you've rolled your dough, cut around the edges when it's long because you're going to cut it into a rectangular shape. And you want it to be long enough to fit the whole cone. Although mine wasn't, so you could use two pieces, honestly. It still tasted great, you guys. So it didn't matter much. So mine are not as long in length so yeah so go ahead and put some oil on the scone a little bit I got these scones from Amazon so they're really good the only thing I don't like about them they're kind of really sharp around the edges so you have to be really careful when you're washing them so once you um, put the oil or butter on your scone so go ahead and start from the pointy top the bottom and like really stick it and then just go ahead and wrap it around it it's super easy it's not like it's nothing it's nothing major it's super easy just go ahead and wrap it around it and that's it just make sure you don't even need to honestly you don't even need to I think these are non-stick to be honest with you um you don't even need to butter them or put the oil on them and because the flour is so much you know has so much fat in it already it's not that sticky so it's not really gonna stick to the scone so this I'm baking mine but you can also fry these you don't have to bake them you can fry but I personally like to like it bake so I'm baking mine so go ahead do all of them and after you've done them you're gonna go ahead and give it an egg wash before you bake it just make sure your oven has been set on 
350 degrees Fahrenheit okay make sure you preheat, preheat your oven first before you bake before you put it in there it has to be preheated okay see what I'm doing super easy super super duper easy So now go ahead, give it that beautiful egg wash, and then go ahead and bake it. So bake it for 20 to 25 minutes on 350 degrees, okay? 20 to 25 minutes, not, too, not more than that, because you don't want it to burn. So guys, after 20 minutes of baking, what I did is I melted um, a few tablespoons of butter and then now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice butter wash. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Do that. Just slather it with some beautiful butter. Just put butter on it. It's gonna be so amazing. I'm gonna give it a really nice color too. And then let's go ahead and after that, put it back in the oven for the remaining of five, seven minutes, okay? And then that's it and after that take it out and then let it cool down before you remove it from the scone and then after you remove them from the scone go ahead and add your favorite fillings and this is it you guys it's so easy it's one of those things like I said it's super yummy and you don't get to eat them as often because they usually served in like communions weddings um, graduation parties even restaurants, even Haitian restaurants don't even serve these because they're like, you know, they're not that easy. They, take, they kind of take a long time to make. But yeah, so go ahead and fill it up. And yeah, I do hope that you guys try these recipes and this recipe. If you do, let me know. As um, always, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And, um... I don't even know what to say anymore you guys so y'all ask for the recipe so I deliver if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you like this channel go ahead and subscribe and I hit 5,000 subscribers today I want to say thank you to all of you thank you so much I really appreciate it Ugh, I'm looking forward to a million subscribers oh I can't wait <laughs> anyways you guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and and hit the like button if you liked the video all right thank you for watching thank you bye